camera action. Yeah, and a very good morning to you. My name's Lance and Phil on camera. Look at this. Me again, me he, again. He forgot to shave this morning. Yeah. <laughs> Working from home, uh, or rather from Bansko. So, we are on, uh, the date is Tuesday the 29th of March, and we're coming up to April. April's the new March, I think, because I'm gonna come onto the snow forecast, and you're gonna like what I say. So, a shout out if you are coming, of course, user services, or Bansko app, banskoblog.com and uh, you got the great discounted uh, transfers ski hire snowboard hire and lessons so use that you can go into the chat it's you can be as anonymous and private as you want and ask questions yep we're still here in bansko and we're on the plateau and we're going to show you just how good it is aren't we phil you know what lance it's yep. getting a bit boring saying how good it is it is boring it isn't is. it but it is, it is. I don't want to say it's good, actually. I'd prefer to say, well, there's a few problems, bare patches I would normally be uttering at this time of the season. But we're on the plateau and there are no bare, bare, bare patches. Uh, season ends on the 10th. Sunday the 10th of April is the very last day, which of course is fancy dress and bikini ski down. And we'll be up here skiing down together, all going well. <laughs> Thanks for the thumbs up. Phil. Right, are you going to show everyone your superior ski skills? You said you've plateaued in your skills. Yeah, but you know what, I think, I, I think I've actually learned something this season. From me? <laughs> no, definitely not. Maybe, maybe not, not you good got, things. You got better, yeah, not the good things in life. Yeah, uh, put yeah. a bit more concentration in skiing on your own for a bit, you know. Yeah? Yeah, I think I've learned something. Still got a long way to go. <laughs> private lessons, that helps, yeah. Get yourself a private lesson move things forward. I wanted to do a big shout out to uh, the Recovery Lounge. Uh, Nicky there's amazing. Nicky, hello. Uh, he's fixed my, I had a, a frozen shoulder and this is quite a common problem. Some of you watching this will know what I mean. And so he gave me a special strap and exercises. But go to the Recovery Lounge, still open, and it stops your third day ache on your legs because you put these pads on your legs inflate and it's proper sports people use this stuff have you been there recently yes and it's a, a way of keeping your legs in good nick so they don't get too tired anyhow let's see oops hope that hasn't pulled anything out i need to just rearrange things here sorry guys there we go so we're on the plateau you say plateau i say plateau Feels more conscious saying Plato. Phil is showing us the way down. I tend to go to the right side more often because beginners tend to go down the left. Just like to. Ah, he's going down the right side, okay. No problem, Phil getting too fast for me to catch up so the time is just after 11 o'clock this is a really good time no need to be particularly early absolutely no gondola lift queue you know it's uh, totally the best time to come anytime after 14th of March to do your second trip we're missing you Richard TJ Ed and all the rest, Chris Denham. Big shout out to Colin for a great sense of humour after Chris's roasting. <laughs> so this is where we'll be skiing down in our fancy dress outfits. I've got a few ideas for myself this year. So in the comments, let me know what my fancy dress should be. Sure, that's wearing speedos or a mankini. That just isn't me. Somehow. Also, want to spare you the sight. <laughs> this is really nice. I can't say. I mean, just saying that this is nine out of ten. There's a few little ice balls, I guess, in parts. But this is good and will remain good till probably three o'clock at least. 
today. I don't know. So there's the goat. The goat is shut. There we go. How was that, Phil? It's pretty good, isn't it? It is, yeah. I'd say it's a nine out of ten, really. I'd say, I'd say about the same, yeah. It's yeah. Up a lot, lot quicker this morning. Although, you know, I'm so surprised how cold it is. It is up quite there, cold, anyway. actually. Yeah. yeah. But how many layers are you wearing underneath your yeah, jacket? Yeah. Well, we've got a t-shirt on with this. Yeah. You see, I wear two layers right. and thermal bottoms. Okay. I take. I basically wear one more layer than most other people. Okay. Given the conditions. That's because you don't move, don't, you don't move around that much. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Um, so, what have we got here? Snowboarders on their bottoms. Usual. <laughs> he said it. <laughs> the usual. No, we love we love snowboarders, and uh, actually, I really enjoy watching snowboarders yeah. doing tricks in the. Uh, fun park there, doing loop the loop and all that stuff. Yeah, too late once. Digging that hole. Yeah. See the goats closed. Closed yesterday. Closed. But 180's open. The VIP room. So I'm going to talk a bit about food, guys. Food. Last night, a big shout out to Luke uh, for inviting me kindly to a wonderful dinner at Come Prima Restaurant. Oh yeah, yeah, fine. Come Prima. Yeah. Home Prima restaurant in the Kempinski. Amazing service, really good food. Uh, I had, Luke had tuna tartar starter and I had another fish tartar, which was absolutely incredible. Really good mains as well. So great service. So obviously, you know, you need the budget or you need a special occasion perhaps, but the quality was there. And that's the point if you're gonna spend more money is the, is the quality there. Uh, I'm also told by Brian that he's open tonight. That's Tuesday, closed Wednesday for a private party, open Thursday, Friday, and I think Saturday. Smoky Mountain's open. You've been there. That's good. Uh, you've been to Famila. Uh, yeah, for the dogs quiz last night. Hold on, you're wobbling. For me. Yeah, focus. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh. I tell you the biggest surprise to me yeah. was the house. Oh, yes. Now, the house is like the biggest, the second looks like a, the log house. Yes. Which is um, pretty much behind Bears in that, yeah. that location. Yeah, right it is. When they, when it first opened a number of years ago, I have to say it was shocking. 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 Um, been there twice this week already. Really good. Good. So that's a shout out to the house. The house. Indeed. Also, if it's a sunny day, uh, I tell you what is quite nice, is Red Hot on the terrace, as okay. well as the log house. Right. Red Hot? people have been enjoying this season so usual wide variety of menu ginger is open yeah and euphoria is still open yes bears is shut um amigo shut i'm not sure about some others penguins is shut thank you penguins um it's queens queens open vino and tapas is still open i love that place opposite pyrin 75 pyrin 75 yep. same yep. owner great place to go for same a owner drink as pyrin 75. yeah really? so you can actually have wine in pyrin 75 Okay. And the amazing steak sandwich and the wonderful Spanish, um, what's the word for Spanish ham? Anyhow, uh, what's Spanish ham? Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, so you can get that all there. So there's good food to be had actually, still going on. So let's talk about the weather. So as we can see, we've got a little bit of high cloud coming in lower now, maybe a little sprinkling of snow tonight. But the big news, guys. And this is so big that you're going to be going to EasyJet or BA or Bulgaria Air or Ryanair website after this. There's going to be a huge dump of snow. I'll say huge. At least 12, 15 centimetres oh, on Saturday. It's getting boring now. Yeah, not another one. You cannot believe it. April is the new March. So basically you've got a powder day kind of ish on Sunday, but Monday's the day, Monday, Tuesday, all next week. At the moment it's looking good. But certainly to look ahead to this weekend... We've got snow, we've got rain, uh, lower down, uh, just to let you know. So that will affect the ski road, which is a bit dodgy, uh, lower down. You have to pole, don't you? Is that right? 
Yeah, it is. Um, yesterday it was okay because it was cooler yesterday. We didn't have as much sun, yeah. sun yesterday, so yeah, yeah. ski road um, lasted longer. But yeah, generally speaking, once yeah. you get past uh, just before Pessary, um, yeah. it goes a bit soggy and stuff. But you can, you know, it's still worth doing. I definitely prefer to do the ski road than sit in a gondola for 20 minutes. Yeah, that's a good tip. Now, if you've never skied before, you can come out and learn. And it's, I tell you, it's so simple to do. Just pick the flights that suit you. Go to booking.com or Airbnb. Find some accommodation to suit your budget. It's very, very affordable. Then all you have to do then is go to Banskid Blog app, book your transfer, book your ski hire, book your lessons. And that's it. And then you just buy your lift part. There's no queue, by the way. No queue at all. You do not need a VIP pass. I have not been through the VIP pass for the last week, so you're absolutely fine. It's the perfect time to come, don't you think? Gondola to yourself, even. Yeah, if you prefer. If you prefer. Yeah. Sociable people. <laughs> <laughs> well, after a late night, sometimes you just don't want to be sociable. Yeah, and you did have a late night last night. Well, we One won't o'clock. Talk about that. Won't talk about that. Okay, some things have to be. Time passes you by sometimes. What goes on in Bansko? So we're still in the bubble, and uh, we're still uh, going to enjoy it. But also think about coming in the summer. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention Hub 360. Uh, great apro ski. Chris told me this morning that he was open till 3 a.m. and that's why he's not up this morning. He's putting together the agenda for the big end of season party on the 10th of April, Sunday the 10th of April. As I said before, the bikini and swimwear and fancy dress ski down and party. It was really good last year, so looking yeah, forward we went to that. Um, went to Chris's bar 360. Yeah. Um, Sunday night he agreed to. Uh, Put the F1 on for us with commentary. Yes. Put the tables up for us. Good. Very good. So thanks for that, Chris. Thank Appreciate you. It. Chris, great job. And to all the people who run sites and uh, information on the Facebook pages, you can go to Bansko Blog Facebook page. And Twitter, not many of you are on Twitter. Go to Twitter, at Bansko. That's where I put my real deepest, darkest thoughts. Well, some of them. And um, so check that out. And of course, on... Um, Facebook, as I said, Bansko Blog, and Instagram, Bansko Blog. We'll put some pictures on there. Thanks to Phil for your pictures the last couple of days. You're, You're a good little photographer, actually, aren't you? Well, yeah. phone does all the work, honestly. <laughs> oh, modesty. OK, so that's the end of our little uh, chat today. I really appreciate you guys uh, joining us here. Hope you're keeping well and fit. I think the secret is to have a whole season here actually if you can <laughs> I think and the summer because you've got a community of people here and I think this is makes it this is why people come to Bansko because other people are here in Bansko but wherever you decide to go for your ski trip uh, hope you enjoy it get a late season trip in and uh, enjoy we've got what over a meter of snow here haven't we still and we that's gonna have a little top up so you're gonna have actually a very good time I think if you decide to come out this weekend for the following weekend. So that's all from Phil and myself. Uh, I know her. Uh, and I want to thank you for joining me. And be sure to subscribe, share and like. Bye for now. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. 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 Goodbye. Phil, bye.